Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss calculating the person sample correlation coefficient. But before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like this video and subscribe na rin kayo. Thank you! So in this video lesson, we are going to define person sample correlation coefficient and also we are going to state the formula for person sample correlation coefficient and compute the person sample correlation coefficient. And we're going to apply and solve real-life problems using person sample correlation coefficient. But before we proceed, so we're going to recall the previous uh, discussion that we have about the trend, uh, the shape, and the strength of the scatter plot. So estimate the variation or the strength of correlation of the following scatter plots. For number 1, so kapag kalat-kalat and then uh, parang walang direction, hindi mo alam kung it rise from left to right. So that is no correlation. And how about number 2? Since number 2, okay, the direction of our points in number 2 rise from left to right. So this is an example of, this is a positive correlation, right? So how about the strength of correlation? Weak positive correlation kasi kalat-kalat siya masyado ang lalayo ng points. And how about number 3? So from right to left, it rises from right to left. So that is a negative correlation. How about the strength of the correlation? Strong positive correlation. So, this is strong negative correlation. How about this one? Okay, kapag uh, talagang straight line, nasa straight line siya, so, yan tinatawag nating perfect negative correlation. So, kapag ganun rin, pag rises from left to right, tawag, that is a perfect positive correlation then. How about number 5? Okay, since kalat-kalat and then walang direction, di natin alam kung it rises from right to, or left. So, this is an example of no correlation. Person sample correlation coefficient, also known as person R, uh, we denoted this as a small letter R, is a test statistic that measures the strength of the linear relationship between two variables. To find R, so we are using this formula, where N is the number of pairs of scores, Summation of x is the sum of x scores and the summation of x squared, that is the sum of squared x scores. Summation of x, y, the sum of the products of paired scores. Summation of y, the sum of y scores. Summation of y squared is the sum of squared y scores. So the correlation coefficient is a number between negative 1 and 1 that describes both the strength and direction of correlation, in symbol we can write R is greater than or equal to negative 1, but less than or equal to 1. Okay, so let's try this uh, problem. A statistics professor at a state university wants to see how strong the relationship in between a student's score and a test and his or her grade point average. So, the data obtained from the sample follow. So, first, so what is the first step na gagawin natin? Una, gawa muna tayo, okay, construct a table as shown on the right. Okay, yung nakikita natin dito, no? So, we need to construct the table. Okay, ilagay natin yung x and y natin. And after that, we're going to complete the table by uh, multiplying the entries in x and y. So, kunin muna natin ito. So, we're going to multiply the value of x and y. So, 98 times 2.1. So, gagamitin na natin ng calculator. So, 98 times 2.1. So, the answer is 205.8. So, 205.8. 
So, ganun din yung gawin natin dito sa mga sumunod na, no? 105 times 2.4. So, isa-isahin nyo na lang. You can uh, double-check nung sagot natin. So, ito yung magiging, makukuha nyo yung sagot. Okay? Next is x squared. So, anong ga saan yung gagamitin natin? So, square all the entries in the x column. Okay? Squared natin lahat ng it nandito. So, using our calculator. So, first... This is 98 times 98 or pwede ng 98 squared. So, that is 9,604. No? So, 9,604. So, ganun din yung gawin nyo sa mga sumunod. So, again, yung column na to, squared natin yung nakalagay dito sa x column natin. And then, yan ang maging sagot natin lahat. After that, okay, so para makuha natin itong sa y squared, so squared natin yung all entries sa y, okay, sa y column natin. Then ilagay natin dito yung sagot natin. So that is 2.1, so 2.1 times, so 2.1 times 2.1 equals, so 4.41. So the answer is 4.41. Okay, so gano'n rin yung gawin. Again, yung column na to, dito natin kukunin. Squared lang natin lahat ng value dito sa y column natin at ilalagay natin yung sagot natin dyan. Okay? After that, get the sum of all entries in the x column. So, kunin natin yung sum nito. Ang gagawin lang, add lang natin. So, 98 plus... 105 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 106 plus 95 plus 116 plus 112 and plus 832 so 1664 yung summation ng x so check natin okay Again, summation of x is 1,000. Baka may mali tayo. Check, counter check ulit natin. Okay. 832 yung sagot natin. 98 plus 105 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 106 plus 95 plus 102 and plus 832. So, the correct answer is oh, 1,664. So, dapat ano to? 1,600. Ah, okay. Kasi sinama ko yung 832. This is the summation. Ito na pala. Okay. So, no need to compute na pala class. Di ko nakita, no? So, the summation of x is 832. Nandito na pala sa baba. Nakalagay na yung summation niya. So again, the summation of x is 832. So yung gagawin nyo lang, i-add nyo lang to lahat ng entry ng x. And then, that is 832. And then, the summation of y. So this is 22.1. So add lang ulit ito, 22.1. And then, summation of xy. So add lang din ito lahat. That is 2,321.1. And then, yung summation ng x squared natin. So, add nyo lang din. So, that is 86,890. Summation of y squared. So, add nyo lang. And then, that the summation of y squared is 63.83. So, gamit ito lahat ng uh, nakuha nating value. So, isa substitute lang natin yan. So, again, ang value ng n natin is 8 since meron tayong 8 dito, no? So, Ang gagawin lang natin is substitute lang natin lahat na nakuha natin, itong lahat ng to, dito sa formula natin, sa formula ng uh, person R natin. So, since uh, yung N natin is 8, okay, 8 yung N natin, substitute lang natin. So, that is 8 times yung summation of XY natin, that is 2,300, uh, 200, 2,321.1 minus 
yung summation of x which is 832 times 22.1 yung summation ng y natin over the square root of okay so may, lagyan natin pag naglagay kayo sa ng formula sa calculator lagyan niyo ng dalawang column dito kasi dalawang may dalawa dito so 8 times so ilagay lang lahat ng data entry 86,890 minus 832 squared. So, ganun din dito sa kabila. So, 8 times 63.83 minus 22.1 squared. So, using your calculator, so, tingnan natin ha. Gamit yung calculator natin. So, unahin muna natin yung nasa taas. So, 8 times... 2321.1 minus 832 times 22.1 Okay, check natin kung tama yung sagot natin So that is 181.6 And then sa baba So unahin muna natin ito Kasi nakagroup sila eh So dapat uh, unahin nyo muna ito at saka ito rin so that is 8 times 86,890 minus 832 squared ok so that is 2,896 and then dun sa 8 times 63.83 minus 22.1 squared. Okay, so that is 22.23. So using this, pwede na natin i-direct sa calculator yan. Gamitin yung fraction bar Pero okay class, pwede rin naman to i-direct na itong lahat na to no? Chinect lang natin no? uh, 181.6 And then yung square root natin 2,000 yeah, 2,896 times 22.23 then equals so set uh, 0 0.72 so makukuha natin dito ay 0 0.72 okay so ganyan lang ang pagkuha at pagcompute ng a uh, person r or yung tinatawag nating sample correlation coefficient at uh, or tinatawag rin nating person r so since positive yung nakuha natin na value ng r natin Ibig sabihin, the correlation coefficient suggests a strong positive relationship between the test score and the grade point average. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.